Kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me, Me well. well. The goldfish. The kitty cats have been asking their parents for a pet. You can open up your eyes now. Oh, oh wow, it's, it's a, a goldfish. goldfish. She's easy to look after. Just feed her and make sure she has clean water. I think that you'll manage. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> <laughs> we need to make certain we take proper care of the fish. We need to feed her. Let's give her a lovely piece of bread. Nah, hmm? that's not really taking care of her. We need to feed her something that's really yummy. The kittens brought the goldfish a piece of Daddy's cake. Here, fishy. Hope you like it. No, oh. wait. Uh. You can't put whatever you want into the aquarium. This is her special food. Fish really don't eat much. She just needs a little pinch of fish food. <laughs> I could stand here and look at her for hours and hours and hours. It's nice out. How about taking a break from the fish and playing outside for a while? Can we take the fish out with us? Sure you can, but you need to be very careful with her. The kitty cats had called their friends over to their house to see their new pet. I think that it's beautiful. She's really, really good at swimming. <laughs> Do you think that I could feed her and take her for a walk? Me too, guys. Me too. Hurrah! Boris, you've had long enough. It's my turn. <laughs> oh, the fish is looking a bit sad. Maybe if I read her a book about sea creatures, she'll feel better. Here's an octopus, and this is a blue whale. All you'll do by reading that is make her feel homesick, Pudding. I'll make her feel better. <laughs> happy, happy, happy fish! Ah! Huh? Maybe she's hungry? Whoa! All gone! I know what's wrong. Remember, Mommy said the fish only eat a little bit. And we gave her an entire thing of food. Oh, that poor fishy. No wonder it's not happy. Imagine if someone threw that much food into your room, kittens. <laughs> oh, and this water needs changing. Water to a fish is the same thing as air is to us. Just imagine if all the air where you're living got filthy all of a sudden. <laughs> smells just horrible. You're right. It really isn't fresh at all. I don't think the three of you are ready to take care of a pet yet. So I guess I'd better take the goldfish back to the store. No, Mommy, wait. Please give us another chance. I promise that we'll take care of the fish properly. We'll just give her a pinch of food, not too much. And change the water every day, promise. <laughs> <laughs> well, now it seems your fish is feeling much better. And this rainbow arch is for her bowl to keep her nice and happy all the time. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! That's how the goldfish became part of the family, and how the kitty cats learned to take care of her properly. Kitty Cat Circus! One day, the kitty cats decided to put on their very own circus. I'm going to do stunts on my bicycle. I'm going to walk the tightrope. And I'm the clown. I will be the juggler. I'll do magic tricks. I'll, uh, I'll do tightrope walking as well, I think. Cupcake's doing that already. And there's no way two kittens can walk on one tightrope because they'd get in each other's way. 
What should I do then? Candy, maybe you could be Smudge's magic show assistant. Smudge likes to scare everybody. I don't want to pull anything yucky like a bug or something out of a hat. <laughs> hmm. Wait, I know what we're still missing. An animal trainer. Oh, that's what I could do. Let's get ready to perform our acts. This show is guaranteed to be so, so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Before I can be an animal trainer, though, I need an animal to train. Hey, jump through this! But the bird was too busy. The mole hmm? was too scared, and the snail was too lazy. Oh, come on, just jump already. It looks like the training session's at full swing. <laughs> but nothing that I'm doing is working. I'm a terrible animal trainer. Hmm, well, maybe you could practice on me. Daddy put on the fluffy hood from his winter coat and pretended to be a wild animal. Rawr, rawr. <laughs> hmm. Oh. And hop! All right, oh. jump through the hoop, Lion Daddy. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> Lion, hop! <laughs> hey, why are you listening to what I say? I'm the Lion Trainer. <laughs> Don't walk away. If you aren't going to do what I say, I'll put you in the corner. Hey, I need you for my circus show. Whoa. Huh? Oh. Huh? Mm -hmm. Roar. Huh? Oh, have we got a wild animal here? But he's too wild, Mommy. He just keeps running away from me. <laughs> Why don't you try to make friends with him? Uh, but how? When he doesn't understand me at all. Well, two things that I'm sure he would understand are love and kindness. <laughs> Huh? I have a really good idea. I will show the wild animal that I love him. That's what I'll do. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and hop. When treated with kindness, Lion Daddy started to perform. <laughs> and soon the animal trainer act was ready. <laughs> And that's how Daddy helped Candy learn that the best way to teach someone is by using love and kindness. Fire Station. One happy day, the kitty cats were given a big toy fire truck and fireman helmets. Look, Dad, their fire trucks just like the one you drive at work every day. Dart's dad is a fireman and drives a real fire truck. That must be so awesome. Driving a truck with a siren while everyone lets you pass right by? <laughs> yes, and getting to wear shiny helmets. And spending your days doing all kinds of helpful hero stuff. If you'd like, I could arrange for all of you to come visit the fire station sometime. How awesome! 
me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Finally, the day of the big trip to the fire station arrived. Hi there. Hi. Hi. Oh, wow. This fire truck's exactly like ours, except it's enormous. It must be awesome to ride in. Well, to be honest, Cookie, firemen have a very difficult job that requires a lot of work. Our operator here watches the town map. Good morning. Well, hi there, youngsters. If somebody sets off a fire alarm, it will light up on the map, telling us where the fire is. Aw, it's too bad there aren't any alarms on the map. I would love to put out an honest-to-goodness fire. A fire is never a good thing. What would be great is if none of these lights ever went off. Real firemen have to be ready for action every single moment. That's why we train hard each and every day. Follow me! <laughs> First of all, a fireman must be in excellent physical condition. <laughs> Secondly, firemen need to be able to get dressed quickly because fires must be put out right away. <laughs> Cookie got dressed pretty fast, but where's your other shoe? Candy managed to get completely dressed, but was too slow. This is way harder than I thought it would be. We all need to work together perfectly. We all must know what we're doing so there aren't any unwelcome surprises. <laughs> Now you can see there's a lot more to being a fireman than riding in a big truck and wearing shiny helmets. It takes a lot of serious training. I thought it was a lot easier to be a fireman. Yeah, you have to train so hard and put out scary fires as well. There's no way we little kittens could ever put out a real fire. I have a really good idea. Fire alarm! There's a fire in the treehouse, kittens. Get dressed, fire cats! Somebody help! <laughs> the fire is out and everybody's saved! Some really great work there, kittens. It's pretty clear you've been doing some training. We have these special training firefighter badges for you. Someday you're all going to make excellent fire cats. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats learned so much at the fire station and had fun along the way pretending to be brave firefighters, too. Wild adventure! One day, Grandpa took the kitty cats for a walk in the park. So today, kittens, I will be training you for an exciting wild adventure. Wild adventure? Really? I'm going to teach you to take care of yourselves in case you are ever stranded in the wild. We're going on a wild adventure! So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Imagine we're in a dark forest full of... Adventures! Look, you're surrounded by thick, dark underbrush, so you can't find the path. But look where this moss has grown. This side is always north. The moss-free side is always south. Always remember this, and you'll never lose your way. We can't get lost, Grandpa. Those signs tell us where we are. Oh, if you take a leaf, you can make it into a small cup and use it to gather water or collect food. Or you could just buy food and juice at the snack bar. Oh, we should definitely get some snacks. Oh, no, kittens. Right now it's training time. 
Come on, follow me. Grandpa showed the kittens how to find berries that are safe to eat. <laughs> and how to get rid of insects. Yeah. How to make a shelter to keep dry in the rain. <laughs> and this is a very useful knot. It won't let you down, see? Um, will the wild adventure get going anytime soon, Grandpa? We're ready for the adventure now. <laughs> you think you're that ready? <laughs> All right, then. See that? That island is where we're going. Over there. Hooray! The kittens took everything they needed for their adventure with them, which was cookies and juice. Yo, see the moss? That means our boat's tied up on the little island's north side. Let's go and do some exploring on the other side of the island. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time to head back to the boat for something yummy. <gasps> Looks like the kittens didn't get Grandpa's special knot right when they tied up the boat. Oh, no. We'll be stranded on this island forever and ever. <laughs> There's no need to be afraid. Your mom and dad will come and get us before it gets dark. Oh, but it does look like it's about to rain. We need to make a shelter. I'm really hungry. And I'm really thirsty. All our supplies are in the boat, though. Remember, you can drink clean rainwater, kids. What? Just stand out there and open your mouth? We get soaked to the bone. Hey, I know what to do. The kitty cats remembered everything Grandpa had taught them. And when they reached the shore, a nice surprise was waiting for them. Mommy! Daddy! How did you find us? Well, your grandpa sent me a message saying that you needed to be picked up on the north side of the island. Oh, your lips are blue. You must be frozen. <laughs> no, Mom. We've just been eating berries. <laughs> <laughs> we had an amazing, properly wild adventure. And Grandpa taught us everything we needed. We didn't need juice and cookies after all. This day was so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats had a great time training with Grandpa. Wild adventures are loads of fun when you know how to take care of yourself. <laughs> the quiet game. One day, Mommy sat down to work on her new kids' fashion designs. build a pirate ship out in the yard. To play sea adventures and stuff. That's a great idea. Uh, show it to me when you're finished building it. But we need some things like boxes, tape, and rope, and uh, lots of stuff we haven't thought of. Oh. Mommy helped the kitty cats find what they needed and helped them carry it to the garden. But she could still hear the kittens outside. We'll build it here. No, over there. And she couldn't concentrate. This pirate ship was my idea. But I drew what it'll look like. And I thought up how to build it, you know. Yeah, and? Kittens, why don't the three of you play the quiet game? The, the quiet, quiet game? game? Yes, the kitten who can stay silent the longest is the winner. And I'll make the winner their very own flag to put on the ship. Oh, that's great. Just be sure to put a star on my flag after I win. I want a flower on mine. A mushroom for me. Okay, now shh. The quiet game has now started. So after that, the first kitten to say anything would lose the game. The kitty cats kept working on their shipbuilding. But it turned out to be much harder without words. Pudding suggested to Cookie 
that they build the mast out of old skis. But Cookie thought that Pudding wanted to go skiing. <laughs> and it was summertime. Cookie tried to show Pudding that it was summer. You can't ski on the grass. But then Pudding thought Cookie wanted to ski. Cookie and Pudding tried to understand what candy meant. Was she saying they could ski on the sheet instead of snow? Or did she want to play ghosts? Or maybe she wanted to make a big painting. At last it was clear. Candy was saying that the sheet would make a great sail. Only the kittens would need to ask Mommy's permission. Uh-uh. But none of them wanted to talk and lose the quiet game. The wind almost carried the sheet into a puddle. They all knew what they should do was call Mommy. Who would be the first to talk and lose the game? <sighs> At last, my work's all finished. Mommy! Help! <gasps> oh, Mommy! <gasps> the laundry was saved. Mommy! But it looked like all three kittens had lost the game. Okay, it's time to decide what's going to be on your flag. A flower, mushroom, or star? But didn't we all lose the game? We all broke the quiet game rules when we called you. Which means all three of us lost the game. But you all did the right thing. You went ahead and built your boat quietly. And you only talked to stop an accident from happening. So I consider all three of you winners. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The quiet game turned out to be a lot of fun for the kitty cats. And not only did Mommy make them a very special flag, but she let them use the sheet as a sail for their boat too.